Hey, everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show, powered by SonicWeb Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, International War Ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews. An evil of an by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today, Four Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags. Makes great gifts 24-7, 365 for family and friends and loved ones. Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson ZF for great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles. Also great merchandise like T-shirts, pop sockets, phone cases, hoodies, and more. Amazon.com slash me and Molson Dia. Check it out today. Also support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM along with PayPal and the Mike Widener Show.com. Make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific gentleman and you've seen him on the OxyClean commercials. He's known as the OxyClean guy on TV and he was friends with the late Billy Mays and spokesperson for McDonald's, Arm & Hammer, Nutrisystem, Swivel Sleeper, Sticky Buddy, and a lot more. You've seen him on TV and talk about these great products and, um, he also starred on TV shows like Hetchman and uh, Kings of Kush. And um, his, his career took the detour, however, on his uh, TV career when his daughter was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder and also needed um, an alternative uh, prescription medication that robbed her of her personality. We'll talk more about that. He also um, entered the second act of um, as owner of a hemp farm, which is born out of necessity for his younger daughter. And um, it's called Mont Cush. We'll talk about that. It's based um, in Vermont, 116 acres worth in um, farming CBD and um, CBDA products. We'll talk about that. He's got a great company out there. We encourage everybody to check it out. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown Austin, Texas, on the road, the amazing um, owner of Mont Cush and best known as the Oxycoin guy, ladies and gentlemen, the very multi-talented Anthony Sully. Sullivan. Anthony, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, Thanks Mike, for joining us today. How are you? Good to good to see you. Thanks for having me. Well, it's great to have you on board as well, too. So you're known as an OxyClean guy on TV, and we bought a lot of it, and you're totally amazing. And you're <clears> friends <throat> with the late Billy Mays. You're also a spokesperson for McDonald's, Arm & Hammer, Nutrisystem, Swivel Sweeper, Sticky Buddy, and a lot more. And you also start on TV shows, uh, Pitchman and Kings of Kush. Your career took a detour, however, in your TV career when your daughter was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder and um, needed an alternative to prescription uh, medication that robbed her of her personality and um you also entered the second act and you're an owner of a hemp farm that's based on necessity for your youngest daughter it's called mont kush we'll talk about that and based in um vermont 116 acres worth in farming cbd and cbda products and um you've got some great stuff out there we'll talk about that and before getting to all that anthony tell us how you first got started you want to go all the way back to uh, to OxyClean, or you want to talk about the hemp? Uh, like, how far back do you want to go? <laughs> Let, let's start with the OxyClean, and even before that too. So you're known for these uh, OxyClean guy, and um, you know, tell us about that, or maybe even uh, before that. So how yeah, far do you want to go? Well, it's up to you. I mean, it's a long story. I'll give you the short version, just because. But um, I at a, I was at a loose end in my twenties, and I discovered that I had a. Uh, I had a, a knack for being able to jump up in front of a crowd of people and, um, and, and I learned to pitch and it was two things really. I learned to pitch and I also, you know, I had, a, I got a great satisfaction out of demonstrating these really cool products that I, I thought were great. You know, I had a lot of passion for them. 
And the first product they ever saw was, uh, it was called the Amazing Washmatic and it was a car washing device. And um, you could wash and rinse your car with one bucket of water. Oh, wow. And I love that product. I really loved it. And I, I, I loved selling it even more. And um, I went on the road as a kid and I went all over the place selling that thing. And I ended out uh, turning the TV on one day and I, I saw my first infomercial and I thought to myself, you know what, I want to see if I can get on TV because all this being on the road is difficult. So I, uh, that led me to America and I, I, I graduated from selling car washes. I, I really went up a notch and started selling floor mops because um, I found a mop that I, I loved as well. And I not only did I love that mop, I know it's hard to hard to love a mop, but I did. I love that. that <laughs> I still love those things. I got to clean up after myself, too. It's yeah, like I love mops. I, yes. I, but I, I love selling them. You know, I enjoyed selling these products that I loved. And um, that led me to, to America, moved to L.A., sold everything I had. And um, I went 50 states, like living in the back of my van, selling those products. And uh, I landed on HSN back in the mid nineties, home shopping network. I remember that. And, yes. Uh, and I, uh, I got my first break on TV and um, it was great. Cause I went from selling on the, you know, flea markets and home shows and boat shows. And all of a sudden I was, uh, I was a familiar face on these shopping networks, which at the time it was pre-internet. Right. So, you know, you, you, it was great. We were on, I was on television. I was very happy with that. And I, I, you know, I was in the eye of the storm and um, that's when I met Billy Mays. I met Billy. Billy was from Pittsburgh and he also was a, you know, a great, great demonstrator slash pitch man is what he referred to himself as in England. We call myself a demonstrator. Anyway, I met Billy and um, Billy was uh, working with a product that's now OxyClean. And um, he, we would both be on the air at HSN and we'd be selling, you know, uh, like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of product. And um, in about the mid nineties, I, I decided to start a production company to make TV commercials to kind of break out off the shopping channels and get into mainstream media and um, make short commercials. And, and I got a couple of products that I, I brought out. The tap light was one of them and a few more. Anyway, Billy and I teamed up and um, it was great because I produced the commercials and Billy was in the commercials and the two of us had a lot of experience. And that's how OxyClean, uh, that's when you probably first started seeing OxyClean was back in the early 2000s. And uh, we had a really, really good time with it. And uh, I, but Billy was the OxyClean guy up until 2009. Well, he's always will be the OxyClean guy to me because he, he you know, he was. Uh, but of course, he passed away back in 2009, which is 13 years ago. Seems like yesterday. And um, I had so much experience with OxyClean. And also, Billy and I had a TV show together on Discovery Channel called Pitchmen. And it was produced by the legendary Tom Beers, who did Deadliest Catch. Mm, so yes. Billy... So Billy and I had had a, a nice uh, run, great friendship. And eventually OxyClean came to me and said, listen, we would, you know, we think you might be a good option to become the OxyClean guy. And at first I was a little hesitant because I, you know, it's a big shoes to fill, um, but I decided to do it. And um, here we are. I started in 2010, I think, 2009, 10, I became the OxyClean guy. And here we are in 2022. So it's been about 12 years now. So that's how wow. that all started. And um so it's been a it's been a very interesting my my career my my you know I've been in, living in America now I'm 50 53 coming up on 53 and um I moved here 30 years ago and um it's been a great I'm in Austin Texas right now I live in Florida but that's um that's 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 kind of how it all started <laughs> Oh my gosh that's amazing I'm ready to buy a product right now I've got my card with me you order by phone and all I'm so ready Easy to go payment. everything is Two easy payments of $19.99. Oh, yeah, that's right. But wait, there's more. So we got to throw in there. It's like, wait, there's more. But we got to talk about the other things first before you find out what's sure. more. Yeah, you're also in, in McDonald's. You're in Arm & Hammer, Nutrisystem. And uh, you did talk about Civil Swivel Sweeper, Sticky Buddy. Yeah. And, um, you know, tell us about some of those. Well, what happened is along the way, I had, you know, there was always an inventor that would come to me with a product you know, over the course of these 30 years and Civil Sweeper was one of them. Um, you know, Nutrisystem is a different thing altogether, but the Civil Sweeper was, I'll use that as an example, was a gentleman uh, called, uh, two, two inventors out of Chicago and they invented this, this sweeper and um, they brought it to me and I loved it. Again, I love the product. 
And like I said, I love selling it even more, you know, like telling the story of the product. So, you know, every now and then some of these products would come across my desk and I, I would, I go, you know what, I think I could sell this. And I, what get, brought me a lot of joy is not, you know, obviously it's fun to sell something and, and to make money and to have a business and, and to have, you know, uh, to be able to build a company and, and, and have a team around you and, and share the success with other people. But I always loved the relationship that I have with the inventors. You know, um, it was always great to make, you know, every time I sold a swivel sweeper, I knew that a portion of that was going to go to the inventor. And I worked with a lot of inventors over the years. And um, it, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. Sticky Buddy was another product that I worked with the inventor, a guy called Tyler, a great guy. I worked with him. He's out of uh, Ohio. But uh, yeah, so I've, I've always been on the lookout for hot new products. It's changed a lot with the Internet lately. You know, it's uh, everything is it's never been easier to, to launch a product, but it's also never been harder to launch a product. So, um, so yeah, um, it's, it's been a lot of fun finding those products, but I, you know, I've sort of, I'm still, I still have my production company and I'm still, you know, OxyClean is front and center, but I'm, uh, I've, I've got a, you know, new, new, uh, a new, I don't want to use the word product because it's not really, it's more than a product, but I have a new venture that I've been working on for the last three years and it's really, really taken off. So it's funny how life takes some interesting turns, you know? It, it does, yes, too. And we'll talk about uh, the direction that uh, took you as well, too, with your daughter. And um, what was the most unusual invention that came across your desk? Oh, my God. Over the years, I had some crazy inventions. I think that the, one of the craziest things I ever saw was the shark stopper. It was shark a shark stopper. Uh, <laughs> it was a, it was a product that you it was shark a, stopper. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> It was a product that you wrapped around your ankle and um, and it allegedly stopped sharks. See, I've seen so many crazy <laughs> products. I think the number one product that I saw and I would tell people, don't give me anything to do with a toilet. I've seen more inventions to make clean, cleaning a toilet or go into the toilet, um, you know, like. Uh, easier so toilet inventions and people always seem to want to do you know come up with a, a some sort of toilet invention so I, 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 I've just so many crazy products you know over the years and I had um, oh my god I, I just I've seen it all I don't want to say I've seen it all I mean I watch episodes of Shark Tank and I, I've seen do some crazy stuff over the years Hmm. It, it made me think of that uh, Batman episode where he pulls out the shark spray and it's like they're climbing up like 100 feet in a tower and the shark is well out of the water, still chomping at the leg and pulls out the shark spray. It just makes me think of that. They could use that shark stopper. But, I know, um, I know. And, and of course, you know, with the toilets as well, too, I'm sure people really give a crap out about that one, too. So right. <laughs> ha ha having the toilets and everything, but um, also, too, like, say, let's say, let's say an invention, too, like, say, like, let's say I present to you, hey, I've got I've got a pen that will uh, squirt blood at people like for uh, Halloween. So how do I go about, uh, you know, registering a product and uh, present it to you? And what's the criteria that you use? Well, um, the criteria, I got to be honest, the criteria sort of changed now because, you know, we used to have an 800 numbers and we'd make a two minute commercial and we put it on the air and, and we'd look for products that were unique and new that had plenty of margin because we needed margin to, to cover the cost of the media, et cetera, et cetera. But the the whole process has evolved now because of obviously Amazon has, has become a big player in the space and the fact that social media is such a big player now and there's been a big migration away from people watching stuff on television. So you'll see you'll, yeah, you'll see less and less products launched on TV right now. And I think I was in that 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 platform for launching products in the, you know, in the, in the 2000s was at its peak. And what you're seeing now is it's, um, you know, a lot of people just going straight to digital to launch something. And it's, it's hard to break, it's harder and harder to break through now because, you know, there's, there's so many people with access to, you know, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you know, social media, digital. It's, it's, a, it's a much different marketplace now than it was 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds more like a saturation, like with TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and um, everything like that, and social media. Now, if you're an launch uh, actually clean today, do you think it would have the same success, maybe bigger success, or do you think it would have bombed or something? I don't. I mean, OxyClean is a phenomenon. It's a phenomenal product. And it's, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's America's number one stain fighter. And OxyClean was really hit the, hit the general public in around 2000. And the timing for OxyClean 
at then was absolutely perfect. And it's funny because, you know, we live in a world, we lived in a world then when really there was a laundry solution for everything. But when I look back at OxyClean and I look at the story of it and the impact, it was the right product at the right time with the right pitch and the right person at the right price. And that, you know, wasn't just, it was, the commercial was great. The product was phenomenal. The pitch guy, Billy Mays was great. The demonstrations were magical. The price was right. And it was, it had, it was just the, the right time at the right place. If they launched OxyClean today, if we launched it today, would it be successful? Yeah, I think it would. Um, well, I think it would be a different, it, you'd be looking at it, for, you know, through a different lens. But um, it, it is interesting to look at that, that moment. And, and I feel that the really big hit, it's very difficult to have a big hit right now. I can mm -hmm. tell you, you know, up until about four or five years ago, the big hits each year, I could tell you, and the same with music, I could tell you the big hits, but I feel now that there's a lot of singles and a lot of doubles. You don't hit so many home runs, but, um, you know, getting on first base is great, but I mean, OxyClean has been a home run. So, you know, would it be, I'm going to say yes, because OxyClean is America's number one stain fighter. It gets the tough stains out. Power yes, it does. Just like mine. I just spilled coffee on it. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's a great product, you know? It certainly does. And you got a better product out there. And uh, we'll talk about uh, how it got there with Mont Cush. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention Mike Whitener's show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Z has garnered great reviews in Eve 11 and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Z, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com and over 30 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books, merchandise, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. Also support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Widener Show.com. Make sure you do so today. We're here with the terrific gentleman who is knows the OxyClean guy on TV. And he's also... Um, Spokesperson for McDonald's, Arm & Hammer, Nutrisystem, Swivel Sweeper, and more, Anthony Sully Sullivan here on the Mike Widener Show. And you also had another invention as well, too, that, um, you know, just uh, came out of uh, where your your TV career uh, just took a detour where your daughter was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder and need alternative to uh, prescription medication, which um, robbed her of her personality. And, um, you know, tell us about that story and how did Montcush came about. So... Obviously, you know, I uh, have a little girl. She was born in back in 2009. She's 11 now. She's doing great. Her name is Devon. Um, hi, baby, if you're watching. Um, she's um, she was born with a, like you said, a rare genetic disorder and it doesn't have a name. It doesn't really, uh, you know, she, she's on the spectrum. She's at the autism spectrum, but it, it's manifested itself in, in several different ways. Um, and it was a very challenging, it's been a very challenging 11 years for me as dad and uh, um, uh, for our family. But it's, you know, having a kid is challenging, you know, on, on every level, even if your kid is neurotypical, you're faced of parental challenges. But anyway, she um, she was put on an anti-seizure medication when she was seven. And we obviously took the advice of the neurologist. And uh, what happened next was was pretty tough. The side effects of the meds were she lost, she she was already thin and she lost a phenomenal amount of weight in a very short period of time. She, her skin sort of turned from like, you know, soft childlike glowing skin to this sort of ashen skin and her, 
her, I could when I wave my she doesn't talk like like you and I would talk. She's she uses word assimilation. And I, I communicate with her personality and her personality sort of uh, just vanished. Um, it was in there, but I couldn't, you know, I would literally wave my hand in front of her and be like, hey, baby, you're there. And she's like, just very, it was very difficult. So we decided we had to do something about it. And we just, um, we read a lot about CBD. And it was in the early days of, back in 2017, 2018. And uh, we did a little research um, and we tried it um, and, I was I was quite impressed with the results and I was you know I was so fascinated by what I was experiencing that I decided to take a deeper dive into it and see you know it, you know look into this and I um you know like anything I always have to love the product and I have to love selling it and I thought you know what I've had a great run and I still love making TV commercials and I love being the oxyclean guy but what about if I could make something that was really 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 good for my daughter not good great like you know what if i could do this so what i decided to do i woke up one morning after visiting a friend of mine's farm up in vermont and i bought a uh, i bought a piece of land up in vermont 116 acres and with the help of uh, a couple friends i embarked on um decided to grow I, I wanted to understand the process from the seed to the finished product because it's very like there's not a lot of information about there's a lot of you know some studies been done but the money really hasn't got behind it so i thought well what if i actually do this myself what if i farm if i seed if i uh, plant the seeds plant the seeds in the ground when they're saplings and grow them till they're fully mature harvest them bring them down to the greenhouses dry them and and see if we can make our own cbd um it's you know it's it's uh some people have had some crazy ideas in their life. I mean, you know, Mario Andretti was a, a race car driver and next thing, he's, you know, he decided to have a crack at growing wine. So I don't think I'm the first. <laughs> I, I, don't think I'm the first I don't think I'm the first person who's ever like fantasized about doing something a little different. Anyway, in the course of it, we ended out um, making a CBD that, that is, I believe is the best CBD out there. It's called Mont Kush, M-O-N-T. Uh, Mont is uh, for a shout out to Vermont and we're very close to Montpellier and our farm happens to be on the side of a mountain. So Mont and Kush is a, a shout out to the genetics that come from uh, the foothills of the Himalayas. But Mont Kush means happy mountain and we got mm. a USDA organic certification. We use a, a very unique extraction method to extract our, our CBD uh, by using a press. So I don't know how much you know about it, but there's a few ways to, to get CBD off out of a hemp plant. And the way we use is completely solventless. And, um, and we have a USDA organic certified tincture. Um, my daughter was our first customer. Um, it's selling unbelievably well. It's a beautiful, great product. And I'm, I'm very, very proud of what we've done up in Vermont. And it's, it's obviously my true north on this one is a little different to the household you know, uh, appliance and solution, problem solutions, items in the house. I was in a, a new space on this one, took me out of my comfort zone a little bit, but it's been a very, very exciting few years. And it sounds rather exciting. And of course you have the CBD out there. You also have CBDA. So uh, explain the difference uh, between CBD well, and Well, it was CBDA. interesting. So what happened is uh, we, because CBDA, I don't know how much you know about this, but CB, CBDA, when, when you grow a hemp plant, the CBD exists inside the hemp plant as CBDA. And what happens is most people, when they extract it, they, they use chemicals and they use high heat and, and they burn off the A. So they get, they get regular CBD. Now, CBDA is the top of the food chain. And because we use a press, which only uses a little bit of warmth and pressure, our oil that we squeeze out of the flour is very very high in cbda which is as mother nature intended it anyway about three weeks ago oregon state university released a study that uh that linked cbda to covid now i want to be careful what i say here because i don't want to make any claims and i don't want to get in trouble and i don't want to but that's fine some, some researchers out of oregon state university Made some, made some findings and they're pretty interesting. And of course, we've been making CBDA for two years. Now, we didn't know when we started this because we always wanted to make the purest product possible. 
we didn't know when we started this that that you know we didn't even know the pandemic was going to exist. Um, that all of a sudden these researchers in Oregon State got picked up by Forbes magazine, got picked up by Bloomberg, got picked up by the Daily Mail, by the New York Post, the Wall Street Journal, you wow. name it, New York Times. And all of a sudden, the, the key ingredient that people are looking for, um, we have it. So our our um, it's been great to be all of a sudden, you know, we're already doing great. And next thing, we have this mad rush towards uh, Montcush, Montcush.com, and people are looking for CBDA. So fortunately, we've, we've been, it's our number one seller. But it's been a, a real treat if you will to be you know in, in the wellness space doing something to help my daughter making a product that i'm really really proud of solventless extraction getting a usda organic certification in a space really where i'm way out of my comfort zone and all of a sudden we're on the receiving end of this data that comes out of oregon state university that says hey if you take cbda it might help you know it might help with with um, some of the issues you find with covid so it's just been a, a, you couldn't make it up. So our, our website's exploded in a good way. Um, and it's just, uh, it's very exciting times at Montcush right now. Hey, it sounds very exciting too. And of course, uh, most of the CBD products out there have some degree of uh, THC. Some don't allow it and everything. Now, do all your products have uh, some THC? Is it like a, a small percentage or do you leave it out entirely, THC? We are we are full spectrum. So we are below the uh, threshold, but below the, the 0.3% threshold, which has been something we pay very, very close attention to. Um, I love the fact that we're able to, because of the way that we extract, we are able to keep a lot of the nutrients and vitamins and minerals and terpenes that are in the hemp plant intact. So when the end user, the customer, whether it's my daughter, whether it's you, Mike, or whoever's using it for, to help with sleep, to help with uh, relaxation, to help with inflammation, to help with stress, um, they experience what a lot of people are calling the entourage effect. And I don't know why I'm going to say this. 99% of the CBD out there, in my opinion, is it's, it's like light beer. Light it's beer, like, like Miller Light. It's there, but I don't want to have name any brand name. names. It's no, like, no, no, no. Don't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like light beer. All the other CBD brands are like light beer. And you know how that goes. You can drink a lot of it and it's kind of tasteless and, and, what we have is like a, a, a micro brood. It's, it's like a, the equivalent. Sometimes I equate it to fresh orange juice versus gas station orange juice. Mm -hmm. If you take an orange, a nice Florida juicy orange, and you squeeze that orange and you squeeze it into a, a cup, you get that beautiful, fresh taste in orange juice. And then you go down to gas, the gas station and get a $1.99 jug of orange juice in a plastic container is two different things. Mm. And that's our CBD is like fresh, the freshest orange juice. So, and we did it, you know, we did it because I wanted to make the best product possible for my little girl. And I've always really had to feel passionate about the products that I, that I represent. And in this case, I didn't represent this one. It, this was something that I did for, I did it for my daughter. I bought a farm. I pretty much moved up into an Airstream for uh, almost two years. I mean, back and forth. Um, it was very, very difficult, very stressful because I didn't know, you know, it was a new thing for me. But every time it got hard, I thought, you know what? I'm doing this for my little girl. I'm doing it to help people. I've had a great run. I've had a really, really good run. OxyClean is is America's number one stain fighter, and I'm I'm so happy to be part of that brand. And if I could do something here that is a little different, that's you know helping people, then uh, it just feels great, you know. Mm -hmm. And it certainly does too. And uh, what does uh, Mount Kush come in as well too, like oils, creams, so lotions, and everything? Mount Kush comes in. We have soft gels. We have which are you know like your soft gels take with a, two with a glass of water. We have um, tinctures, uh, tinctures, which are our number one seller. And that is how I like to take Mount Kush. It's in its purest form. And we also have gummies as well. We also have a pain oh. roll on and we have a body dose, but our tinctures are the little oils. Um, I have one somewhere in there. I, I, I can go and get it, but, um, I'm actually in my, air. here we go. I'll show you. Oh, excuse me. I'll just get up here. I got my little Mount Kush box right here. 
But this is the uh, this is the tincture right here. These are the oils and mm. can, can you bring uh, up a little closer? Yeah, it's about a thirty day supply. I don't know if it's, if it'll stay in focus there. So yeah, it's a, it's a little tincture, and you just take a dropper of it and put it under your tongue for thirty for uh, thirty seconds. And um, this is this is how this is our number one seller right here. So I'm um, I'm very proud of it. It's uh, you know it's a lot of work went into this bottle, a lot. So uh, we also have our pain roll ons, and we have our soft gels, and we have our gummies as well. Gummies are delicious. Mm. Uh, they're really, they're really really good. But um, you know what I'd like to say if, if there's a lot of people who have no idea what CBD is, they're afraid of it. They think they might get high. They uh, you know, there's, there's not a, there's a lot of, I use the word snake oil out there. If you're curious about CBD and you want to try it and you know, you, you're suffering you with, you know, pharmaceuticals, obviously talk to your doctor, give Moncush a try. It's uh, we got our USDA organic certification. We are traceable. So if you want to know where your product came from, it came from a farm in Vermont, 865 lower road in Vermont, 116 acres, right side of Plainfield. I, I had a hand in, 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 in pretty much every single plant that came out of the ground in some way, shape, form or another. And, um, you know, we grew 66,000 plants in our first year. We did 75,000 in our second year. And um, we have a really, really, I'm very proud of it. If you can imagine this is a wine, if you could compare this to a wine, this mm -hmm. is a fine wine or a, or a sipping tequila. We got a, we got a, we have a beautiful curated sipping tequila for, of CBD. So wow. if you're, anyone's thinking about getting it and we're right in line on price wise, our value is great. We understand CBD is expensive and we want ours to be uh, affordable. And our CBDA is uh, it really is something else. Five-star reviews after five-star review after five-star review. That is so amazing. I love it. You say it comes in uh, oils and creams and roll-ons and gummies and everything. And um, what, what else uh, are you planning on uh, having it come out as as well, too, in the future? We're working on a couple different form factors right now. Um, I'm a big believer in, in, in my business. Um, I like to keep it simple. You know, I like to do like one thing and do it really well. Like OxyClean gets the tough stains out and it does it really, really well. So I try not to get caught up in, in you know, too many. Some people have talked to us about doing pet treats and things like that. But oh. right now we, we got a great product that people love. And we do a lot of testing and a lot of researching. And when um, when the time is right, we will release some, some other products. But um, our tinctures are doing great. I'm very proud of them. And that's where we're focused right now. And where can we find Mount Kush at? So you can go to monkush.com, M-O-N-T-K-U-S-H.com. We're on Instagram and Facebook. All look, just, just Google on your search engine, type in Monkush, and bam, it'll take you right to the site. We certainly will do so. And what's coming up for Anthony Sully Sullivan, the OxyClean man and owner of Monkush? We'll find out in just one minute. You listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, International War Ring author Mia Molson's You Have Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with the amazing Anthony Sully Sullivan of Mount Cush after this timeout. We're back with the amazing Anthony Sully Sullivan of Mount Cush, the OxyClean guy, and more here on the Mike Widener Show. Just a great story and background about your amazing company, Anthony. And what else can we expect from you in 2022 and beyond? I'm um, very focused on um, I my number one focus right now is trying to be a great dad to my daughter. I uh, absolutely love her. I'm actually currently in Austin, Texas. I'm working. I'm up here in a couple meetings. I, uh, I we got a Moncush Airstream. So I just drove it from Florida to Texas. I had a beautiful drive across the country. I'm excited. Hopefully this is the year we put this pandemic behind us and we can kind of get back to some of our normal lives. I think it's been a very difficult year for everyone. Everyone has had, you know, whichever side of the political fence you sit on and, the, and people who've lost loved ones to COVID. Um, I think everyone's going to be happy, hopefully, to put this in the rear view mirror. Um, and I'm, I'm very, very focused on, on making, you know, bringing Mont Cush and getting it right and, and growing the company and, um, and making sure all of our customers get a great experience. We're looking at pushing into some international markets, but it's, it's not easy. Um, if you want to know on a personal level what I want to do, I'm, I'm good friends. And we just did a deal with, uh, I don't want to use the word deal, but Andrew Cotton, who's a big wave surfer, is in the, the HBO show, 100 Foot Wave. 
Mm-hmm. Um, he's uh, part of our Marcus family. So I'm hoping to get out to Portugal and Nazare and uh, do a little, some toe surfing and just focused on uh, growing the company and staying fit and, uh, and uh, just, just doing it right. Keeping all, an organic certification and, uh, and making sure I do my recycling and making my bed. And certainly doing a great job. And don't forget the OxyClean, will ya? <laughs> OxyClean gets the tough stains out. That's right. That's right. And of course, the uh, Mount Cush will uh, get those tough ones out there too. So <laughs> who do you consider biggest influence in your career, Anthony? I think my dad was uh, my pet, both my parents. My, my father passed away a few years ago. Um, and my, my father really, uh, I went to work with him at a very young age and he's gone now. And I kind of wish I'd spent some more time with him in, in his final years, but I think he, he gave me the initial drive and courage and, uh, to, to get, to get out there and, and make it happen yourself. Um, so I, 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 I look up to my father for, for giving me that support at a young age. And my mother is also an absolutely incredible um, she's, uh, in England, she's got a birthday at the end of the month. So I'm headed out to see my mom. I, my parents are great. And I, um, you know, my, my daughter drives me. She really does. Every time I look at her, she, she's, a, she has such a big influence on me and in business, you know what? Um, I gotta be honest. I, I've always, and I would say this, you know, a, a way I I've always loved what America stands for when it comes to the entrepreneurial spirit. And I mean, I don't mean it's one person or one business person, but mm-hmm. the, the spirit of, of making it happen, of getting out there in this country, United States, what you can do as an individual that is open to anyone. There are very few countries, if any, um, in my opinion, where you can go for it in a big way in the United States. And I, I think the fact that we live here in this, uh, amazing country and have all the opportunities open to us, whether it's Austin, Texas, or Florida, or California, or New York, or Denver, there's just so much opportunity here. And I think, you know, that has been a big part of my my life, the the influence of that can make it attitude that we have here in the United States. It's something really special. And I, I value it. And I uh, I look forward to many more years of it. And certainly do so as well, too. You've been totally amazing. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Stay in the saddle. <laughs> stay, stay in the saddle. Um, I, I, really, I really think it's important, even when, when, you know, it's. I don't think I'm the first person to write this. I, I actually read Matthew McConaughey's book recently, and uh, he talks about red lights and green lights. And I feel like, you know, when you get red lights, and he, he sums it up beautifully in his book, you, you get those days when you, you know, and it can be in your personal life, business life. Um, it can be, you know, a relationship when you think you can't make it or you just feel like quitting is stay in the saddle, stay in the saddle. And, and eventually those red lights will turn green. Um, it's, and, you know, that's it's important to realize sometimes the difficult times that you, you're in, you don't see it at the time. Right. You know, why is this happening to me? It's uh, it's it's making you stronger. So it sounds so cliched, but I, you know, I think everyone's had a tough year, tough couple of years, and it's important to stay in the saddle and keep at it, you know, and uh, keep smiling. Mm-hmm. Yes, definitely stay in the saddle. I will remember that. So we're here with uh, the OxyClean guy and the owner of Moncush, Anthony Sully Sullivan here on the Mike Wagner Show. Just amazing, Anthony. A very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely terrific. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back in 2022 and beyond. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your stuff? You can uh, you can check us out monkush.com and uh, I'm on Instagram at Sully on TV S U L L Y on TV Sully on TV and I'm also on Facebook too and uh, DM me directly and if you want to pick up Monkush M O N T K U S H that's M O N T K U S H and remember OxyClean get that's the right in, Sully in, <laughs> out. That's right, Sully. Big thank you for your time. You've been totally amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back. We wish you all the best. You've got a great future ahead of you. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. You have a great day.